you gonna do your head nod? What? Your head circle. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> mm. If you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life, what would it be? Um, to not be afraid of what people think, and to not care what people think. Mm. To not be so sensitive. Because I'm really sensitive. I don't feel like you're sensitive, Emily. Ow! That's <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, she is, girl. <laughs> and you just proved it. <laughs> Cat was just like, like, can we get that again? I'm sensitive. Like, you just haven't seen my sensitive side. I feel like I haven't. left the most impact on your life um my grandpa like what does that mean who has impacted your life thus the word impact is what i'm trying to have <laughs> i don't know how to explain the word impact Emily. meaning of impact um like it, something good the people who have done the most good in your life or something who have like made an impact on you? Um, I don't know how to explain this, Emily. Maybe my friends. Your friends make the most impact on you? Yeah. I thought you were done. That's why no. I'm you. They really? You're like, okay. <laughs> I have to throw well, the questions while you do your makeup. I'll put some blush on after I. Okay. Like when I'm putting on blush? best teacher you've ever had miss fiscus um i doubt my teachers are watching this so <laughs> miss holloway mine is miss fiscus she was my senior math teacher he's trying to send it but maybe hard as out here so, okay who is the first person you call when something exciting happens if uh, i'm if i'm doing it with my mom I tell my dad. If I'm doing it with my dad, I tell my mom. So. Um, I would say Blake. Unless he's doing it with you. Then I would say my mom, depending on what it was. <laughs> um, who is the first person you call when something horrible happens? Blake or my mom. Maybe either 911, my mom or my dad. <laughs> You're like 911. I'm very responsible. <laughs> Do you remember your dreams? Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Do you save old greeting cards and letters? Wait, when it says, do you remember your dreams? There's this one weird dream that I had when I was little. Mm -hmm. Well, it was like a nightmare. It was like a nightmare. Yeah, like I would have it every night. Like this every was the night? Only, like the only dream that I had when I was little. Well, I guess when, like the only nightmare that I had. So I was like in my crib and then I tried, I couldn't say anything, like I couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. Well, I could talk, but it was like a whisper, like nobody could hear me. Mm -hmm. So I tried getting out of my crib and then... How did you try getting out of your crib? Well, I got out of my crib and then I looked down and there was like a cliff and then I, I couldn't hang on so I let go and then I fell and when I hit... I'm when I hit Emily. the ground in my dream, I woke up. But I didn't hit the ground in real life. So you basically had a flat fear of heights dream? Yes. Okay. Maybe that's why I had a dream. <laughs> I was just like, heights? what does the dream mean? I was trying to figure out my dream. I used to have a freak kind of dream that my dad had a girlfriend and she was chasing us. Um. And my parents, my mom and my grandma were eating at the Chinese restroom with restaurant with my grandma H. My mom hates Chinese food. Do you save old greeting cards and letters? Sometimes. Well, actually, in fact, I have a, in my wallet, a bunch of letters Blake has around to me. I save them sometimes. Well, most of the time. Well, the stuff from Blake, I just... Do you sing in the shower? Yes. yes. <laughs> Jinx. 
Wait, we're under a roof, so it goes back to you. Um, I just put on the always look, always on liquid lipstick in Fair Game from Smashbox. Do you sleep with the lights on or off? Off. Um, I sleep with the lights off, but sometimes, but I have a night light. Because I can't get up in the dark. I use to be afraid of the dark, but honestly, I'm not anymore. One of the main reasons I have a nightlight is because I can't Can you get up in my the brush? dark or I'll run into things. Where's okay. your head? It's over there. Oh, sorry. Tell first if you found a dead, bar dead body in your garden. I would tell Blake and your mom. I would probably scream my mom's name. I would be like, Mom! I would tell Blake and your mom, probably. And I'd probably call my cousin that's a cop. First, I would call 911, then I would scream my mom's name. I feel yeah. like I'd be like asking advice before I did anything. <laughs> like, um, who put the dead body in there? Do I need to, what do I need to do? Do I need to keep my mouth shut, act like I didn't see it, or what? <laughs> What is your idea of special time together? I feel like this is, it falls to me. Cause well, I can say for my mom, because me yeah. and my mom have girl time. Yeah. I would say with Blake, it's cuddling and watching a movie. With me and my mom, it's like spa day. Like pedicures, manicures, Like makeup. the masks. Yeah. <laughs> Last time we put on a mask, it had alcohol in it. It started marking our faces. Though. Yeah. Never used that. Really mask. pretty mask, but just didn't work out. Yeah, it was a glittery mask. What is something that amazes you? The skill level people have to, uh, doing makeup. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> a lot of y'all be killing it out there, so. Or people that go to skating rinks and like they do all those tricks i don't really go to skating rinks anymore um i can't answer that one you can answer if you want mm, no. 160 what is your top what is the top what is at the top of your bucket list mm. buying the biggest hershey bar ever <laughs> to meet jeffree star Or Halsey, one or the other. I would say both. To meet Halsey. Yeah. Um. No, what is... What is the name of your first pet? Mine was Lucky and she is an English Springer Spaniel. I don't remember. I'm just going to say my bunny Thumper. Thumper. <laughs> That's a funny name. Well, you should have seen it. Did he thump a he lot? He looked like a thumper. Did he thump his foot a lot? No. He was one of those floppy-eared bunnies. He was so cute. What scares you about aging? Wrinkles. Gray hairs. Losing more people that I love. Yeah. <laughs> Difficult is it for you to be honest, even when your words may be hurtful or unpopular? Um, it's really difficult for yeah, me. Yeah, it's really difficult for me. Um, how difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refuses to apologize? Very, Very difficult. difficult. I hold a grudge, and my friends mm -hmm. know this. Um, I will hold a grudge sometimes, even if they apologize, which is bad. Yeah, same here. Sometimes you cross the line and it's, you cross the line. How far away from your birthplace do you live now? About 40 minutes or so. I still live in the same place. Well, like, <laughs> I still live in Texas. I live, still live on the same property, not in the same house, but the same property. I still, but it says your birthplace. Well, I was born at a hospital, so we're I still gonna... live in Texas, but the hospital I went to is about 40 minutes. I don't know so. if they were talking about the hospital. You know? I don't know. I think they were talking Your about birthplace, it. so. I was born at a hospital, too, so. I have, I but still, I could... where I lived when I was born, 40 minutes or so. 
my hospital. I would say it's about two minutes from where I really live now. So, um, how is your birth order and care aspects of siblings affected with? You're an only child. I'm an only child. She has siblings. I have two little brothers and a little sister at my dad's house. Well, two little brothers here and a little sister at my dad's house. I always wish I had a sibling. Huh? But then I see some things her brothers do to her, like the slime incident, and then I'm kind of glad I never had My brother scratched my hand pretty yeah. bad. Yeah, so. That's kind of iffy thing. Um... How many rings before you answer the phone? It a depends lot. who's calling. If it's my friends, like, my friend, like, I talk to people on my mom's phone because my, my phone, it doesn't, you can't call people on it. And I text my friends, and it's not very many. Well, it depends on if my mom is her phone. Perfect. How old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? Emily. <laughs> Um, 